11.30 a.m. We enter the small, humble ashram with huge energy and sit down. Someone is reading? No, it is more like chanting from the dasbod, a sacred text for half an hour, while everyone else remains quiet. The large pictures of the masters are imposing. In contrast, the altar is a delicate, humble affair. In the centrepiece, there is a small statue of Nizagadatta's master, Sri Siddharameshwar, wearing a beautiful golden outfit. He is in his usual pose, often depicted in pictures with his legs crossed, holding a cigarette. I do not understand a word of the chanting, as it is in the Marathi language, but I am still strangely touched by the vibrations. At one point, when I opened my eyes to look at the pictures of the masters, suddenly Sri Bausaheb Maharaj appears to fly out of the picture. He's standing right in front of me. The message he conveys is, welcome back, before quickly disappearing. I am left somewhat shaken and still trying to decipher the message, when suddenly everyone stands up to sing. I notice Charles has fallen asleep. Maharaj won't like that, so I start coughing loudly to wake him up. He gets the message and rises from the chair. The sound of the bhajans is very uplifting and transporting, even though we haven't a clue what they are singing about. Maharaj sits in his big armchair, ready to talk. A few Indian devotees gather on the floor close to him. Maharaj tells us to bring over a couple of chairs as we are not used to sitting on the floor. We appreciate his thoughtfulness. He wants us to be comfortable. Maharaj states, You have come here because you want to know the reality, correct? We nod. What is reality? Here we give commando training. We smile at each other, thinking, so it is an army training camp after all. By listening to these discourses, meditating and singing the bhajans, all the garbage will be cleared out. In our lineage, we give a mantra, the Nam Mantra, which will help you forget everything. This is the first time we hear Maharaj speak in Nashik. Halfway through the discourse, Charles and I look at each other smiling with a discreet eye-popping expression that communicated, this talk is mind-blowing. Maharaj carries on a little longer, then looks up at the clock. It is time to eat. He asks us if we have any questions and we tell him no. He tells us to return at 5.30pm for the evening bhajans and another talk. We are stunned by what we have just heard. Elated. We have four hours or so to eat and rest before returning for the evening bhajans. We know that we have made the right decision to come here, even though it may resemble an army training camp. We have never heard such simple, direct, spontaneous, non-intellectual knowledge transmitted before. Feeling blessed, we strongly feel this is the beginning of the end. The end of the beginning. Without beginning, without end. We have reached the full stop. We are excited to hear Maharaj mentioning the Nam Mantra. That's what we are here for.